Giga Texas is 62% done, and it's already 30% bigger than Vatican City. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. As quiet as the week was, and even with the holiday weekend, it's been exciting for a few reasons, so let's get right into there. How can a site that's only 73% framed be 62% finished? Well, the short answer is because some steps take longer than others, and the longest ones are indeed being counted the slowest. So let's take a look at the graph over time, and you'll see that, while I may have overcounted the site prep early on, subsequent work and rework hasn't taken away from other aspects of construction. These are totally different crews. Site prep took a lot of time and didn't really look like much, even though it was. The footings are pretty unchanged this week, on account of the deluge that's been soaking Austin, but we're entering the dry season, so this is likely to pick up again in the coming weeks. The framing out of the squares is still holding steady, though this was a quieter week, again due to the rain and thunderstorms, but it's likely to pick up the pace, picante sauce, once the weather permits. And we're finally seeing more work taking place in the northeast corner on the Casting Cathedral. Look at that, new columns. We should be counting frames here in the next week or so, and roofs shortly thereafter, and of course, there's a lot going on still in the ever-shrinking Southwest Prairie. The roof covering has been going great, and while it visually appears like there isn't much more area to be covered, the fact that it's only now broken the 40% mark says otherwise. A quarter of the site still doesn't have frames atop which to attach a roof, and this only counts as half complete until four months after its corresponding walls go up, which is, you know, quite a bit later, and that part is likewise accelerating. The interior completion is still speeding up, as it will, until at least mid-June, when the very first walls that went up are finally fully counted. Since each walled-off section only counts as 1 17th done each week, there's a vast amount of already counted area that has yet to be fully realized. There are a lot of new walls this week, especially along the east side of the body and white area, as well as at the border between the battery cell production area and the general assembly area. If you think the counting on the interior is too aggressive, I'd refer you to my recent video detailing the extent to which work is underway. Not only have we seen that the casting machine is operational and the paint shop was outfitted months ago, but the assembly line itself is making great strides. If you want to get deeper into the methodology used to track the site, check out some of the earlier videos in the series. But if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask them. And for that matter, if you have answers, don't be afraid to respond to those questions. Just pretty please, guys, be nice to each other. So let's take a look at the site map for this week and get on to the timeline predictions, because that's where it gets exciting. But spare me six seconds to thank my Patreons who get early access, bonus material, and keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. As a reminder, at 100 Patreons, I'll do a Tesla tattoo reveal. Yes, I have one. And no, you can't see it. Not yet, anyhow. So let's take a look at the site map as of today, and let's roll it back to December 14th when the tracker was first launched, and let's roll through it week by week. There was very little information to go on in the early days, so there have been adjustments over time. The orange represents the footings, with the darker orange representing deeper or heavier ones. The gray indicates framing work. The darker gray indicates a first layer of roofing. The blue indicates walls have been put up, so the interior area can begin its count. The darker the blue, the more floors there are. The black lines indicate firewalls or expansion joints, with the heavier ones outlining the concrete areas. That is looking so good. Now let's talk about the timeline, because that's the exciting part, to me at least. 
as of today, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of your Cybertruck, is 62% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 506 days on or about December 8th of this year. It's a mostly two-floor structure, as you can see, and now has a total of 6.9 million square feet framed up, which is 641,000 square meters. Vatican City is 0.49 kilometers, but Giga Texas is 0.64. Yeah, it's that much bigger. And yes, I know Vatican City is mostly multi-floor buildings, but come on, man, unlike the Pope, I'm not infallible. The exciting part is that as the weeks and now months have rolled on, the tracker has held remarkably steady, and the past month hasn't wavered by more than three to four days in total. So here we're looking at the chart. Yeah, early on, when we had just gone four months in, we were projecting another year and two days. Here we are all the way out to today, 10 months and nine days in, and again, we're within like a week of the original projection. What would that be? Uh, eight days of the original projection? Ten? That's, that's pretty solid guesstimate, my friends. And if anyone's a CSS wizard, I'm having trouble making these uh, s closer together. And as you can see, I'm going to run out of space like like ne like now, like this week. So uh, anybody know what I should put in here to make these uh, smunch together a little better? Uh, be awesome if you could just let me know in the comments uh, below. So will it actually be finished in the first week of December? Well, no. I mean, maybe, but no. In order for this tracker to hit 100% by that point, the last walls will need to be in place in the next 10 weeks, which strikes me as very unlikely. Concrete footings need a month to cure before the columns can be attached, so the remaining 9% of the entire site, those footings will need to be poured in the next six weeks just to stand a chance. Again, strikes me as pretty unlikely, but the picture is coming into sharper focus with every passing week. What I predict is that this emerald footprint will appear done on the outside well before the first week of December, while the interior completion continues to tick up week after week. I also expect to see first production before that time as well. The whole site's interior completion includes lines for the Cybertruck, in addition to the Model Y, and maybe additional models, and we have been told that the Model Y will be produced months, if not whole quarters before the Cybertruck, so yeah, I'm expecting production before December 8th. There are no updates to Area del Roberto Gato Projecto, nor to the potential Starlink site to the west of the highway, because rains have made foundation work impossible, but we'll give them another look next week. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me a glimpse of your genius in the comments below, and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from your clever robots when the rains near the plains subside enough for the tracker to go bonkers. And yeah, I meant the planes at the airport. I mean, come on, not all the jokes are going to land. It's not an airport.